taking here? What's your grade point? 3.5 on a 4.0. You what, you're taking honors? You be on? You know what? That's a good What was your GP? What was your AMP? PSAT. My PSAT was over 1500. So that's basically 750, 750. Yeah, but yo, we'll, we'll, we'll actually send you the clip for and during that time frame, and we will help you get your point. Go for it. You want any information? This uh, probably was about 290 different different that's just a half baseball or a long part figure. Uh, we sent it to the you know, pilot. And then they break that down from there for uh, helicopter or fixed wing. You want to be Navy or Marines? Because we 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 can go either way. Because we supply 20% of the graduating class with money for it. However, we get almost 30%, 35% of the volunteers. <coughs> so it's not something where they're going to draft you to go to the range. It's a volunteer. Take a look at it. Maybe they'll send it to summer school. Oh, not summer school. Summer program. Well, Canada is busy. This application for the summer, what they call the summer session, that's over with. They didn't jail for April 1st. But they can't bring you out there in the fall for Canada. You got, you got any type of visa? Which one is it? Yeah, we have a visa for the year, but we have a visa for the year. Can you apply for it here? Green card? Yeah, you have to wear it. It's an application. Yeah, have you applied for it? Okay, how long, is, how long has it been in the application? How long has that been? Green card? Yeah, for the green card, yeah. It's been seven years, actually. What, what's the time frame you have to wait? We have to find this. Well, we will help you get that from here, Chuck. Let's do it. Okay? Boom. Thank you. I don't have the exact amount, but it gets you it gets you a bit, quite a bit of money for for about another ten, so forty eight thousand falling. Um, for, for everyone? For for yes, but that's before any scholarships. And <laughs> most of our students who are admitted outright will receive scholarships. They receive? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Yeah. Now, um, so our scholarships are going to be merit based in that. So you provide scholarship? Yes. Oh, 
depending upon the marks in the world. Yep, exactly. And then involvement outside the classroom too. So students who have a lot of service work, um, students who have been leaders in, in the classroom, outside the classroom, those are good pieces too. So these are undergraduate. Yes. Yep. Yep. And this piece opens into this poster, and we have all of our majors broken up here too. So please feel free to, to take one of those. It's in Milwaukee? Yes. Yeah, we're right downtown Milwaukee. Oh, yes. So typically, one has to shell out $50,000 per week. Um, generally, so the average cost of attendance usually falls between about twenty and thirty thousand because, with scholarships. Because you have to scholarship literally everywhere. Right. right. And what would be the criteria for scholarship? Yeah. Um, so sub. Excuse me, sub. It's going to be merit, largely merit based. Um, either. either. Um, so we're just talking about scholarships now. Um, so scholarships are going to be largely merit based. So not just GPA and your grades, but also what kind of classes you take. So if you have accelerated coursework, that's a good thing. So AP, honors, dual enrollment, stuff like that, we'll notice that. Um, and then if you have, if you've done some volunteer work um, throughout school, make sure you tell us that. And then if you're a leader in anything at all, um, not just sports, but orchestra, any sorts of clubs, um, a summer job, tell us those pieces. So all of that will go into our scholarship. Yes. But uh, it is not income dependent scholarship. No, no, no. All of that, we leave all that to the financial aid office. So on the admission side, on the academic side, yeah, it's all going to be based on your experience. Yes, Certainly, yes. So does it have to be offer this kind of scholarship or you guys offer it to the yeah, it, it varies quite a bit from university to university. Most, so we're, we're one of the Jesuit universities. Most Jesuit colleges will do things similar to us, uh, but then, yeah, all sorts of institutions are quite different. Okay, I'll come. Um, so, see, okay, you're actually applying directly to our College of Engineering. You're admitted right away to that college. So, you start your engineering classes freshman year. So, that gives you time to make sure not just that engineering is a good fit for you. But that you want to study electrical engineering. Um, and then we actually offer two paths for engineering majors. So you can do a traditional four year Bachelor of Science in Engineering. We also have a five year co op program. So if you choose that five year co op, after your sophomore year, your second year at Marquette, you all take semesters and classes with that co op. So when you're out at your co op, you're working full time, you're being paid as a full time employee, you're not making tuition. So it extends it by a year, but because you also work over summers, when you graduate after five years, you have about 18 months of full time work experience. So, so he wants to become a doctor, then oh, sure. why should he, I mean, what exactly he should yeah. do? So generally then, if, if you're thinking about medical school, um, we'll say the four year engineering program is going to be a better fit so that you're prepared right away to go on to medical school and you're not spending an extra year in school. But you certainly can do it, it's just up to you. Um, so you would have an engineering major and then you also do our pre-med curriculum. So that will be nine classes that are the prerequisite courses for every medical school. I used to do engineering to get into medical school. Why? Yeah. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, yeah. So, can you just study pre medicine to get into medical school? So, pre med at Marquette is not a major, so you would still major in something. So, it could be any of the sciences, it could be humanity, business, engineering, whatever you want. So, you have to do majors? Yes. Yeah. 